From time to time, you might find that with your air gap, there's some biofilm or small bits of debris which might build up on the screen. So it's important to clean these out occasionally just to make sure that your overflow and your air gap is performing optimally. So to start with, if you've got a version like this, which has got uh, pull-out cartridges, all we're going to do is simply pull the cartridge out. There's some small little snap fits on there. You'll feel them disengage as you pull it out. There's a bit of debris there, so I'm just going to come down. I'm just going to tap it on the ground. If you need to, you can give it a backwash, or you might find that you need to brush it off. That's all clean, so now I'm just going to place it back in. There's two screens, one for the top and one for the bottom. The bottom one, you do exactly the same thing. It's the same process. So that's all there is to do. There's nothing else you need to do with the gap, and that's how you maintain this version. So this one doesn't have the handles like the previous model, but instead all we're going to do is twist out this top screen. There's these little notches on there, so you just twist it to the left, uh, which is clockwise, just a little bit, and it'll drop out. You can see that there's a little bit of debris. So all I'm going to do is tap that out and wash it off. And if you need to give it a bit of a brush out as well, that's fine, uh, whatever you need to do to get the screen nice and clean. And then we're going to pop that back in place. It goes in one way only, and you'll, you'll see the way that the little notches align with the uh, hooks on the inside, and it'll snap into place. For the bottom screen, it's a little bit different. All we need to do, I've just pulled that out. There's no notches, it's just a lift out fitting. Again, I'm just going to tap it out and wash it. And then to put this one back in, all you need to do, just simply drop it into place. And then just press it down, and you'll feel that the top ledge of the mesh cartridge piece ends up being flush with the inside of the air gap there. And that's all you need to do to maintain this product.